Senator Smith. Thank you very much, Mr. President. My question is to the minister representing the Minister for Communications, Senator Fifield. Can the minister please inform the Senate of the extent of telecommunications black spots in my home state of Western Australia? The Minister representing the Minister for Communications, Senator Fifield. Thank you, Mr. President. And, uh, can I thank Senator Smith uh, for his question? And I'm very pleased to be able to inform the Senate that since taking office, this government has increased the number of premises passed by fibre in Brownfield's area in Western Australia from 4,000 to 32,000. Uh, that is an eightfold increase, with another 34,666 under construction. Uh, and when this government tells people that construction has started, that means we have signed construction contracts. Uh, not, that we, not that we've put a green splotch on a map somewhere uh, and told people to wait. Mr uh, President, West Australians living uh, in regional areas uh, will, I know, be dismayed that under Labor not a single cent was invested in improving mobile coverage in that state. Uh, now, there are other, other victims of black spots, include uh, those people living in the fixed wireless footprint in Western Australia. Uh, Labor told the public prior to the election that they would roll out a first-class fixed wireless network to 4 per cent of the population. Uh, they said they would get to 70,000 premises with their fixed wireless network by 30 June last year. Uh, in fact, they got to only uh, 27,256 premises. Uh, missing their target by more than 60 per cent. Now, Mr President, uh, whether it be the carbon tax, the mining tax or telecommunications, uh, as Senator Smith knows, uh, as always, uh, with Labor, don't listen to what they say, look at what they do. Senator Smith. Thank you very much, Mr President. A, dip, uh, a supplementary question. Uh, can the minister inform the Senate why it is important to have spectrum where you plan to build fixed wireless towers? The minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Uh, we, we shouldn't be surprised uh, through you, Mr. President, um, that the previous minister, uh, Senator Conroy, uh, who wasn't aware that there were tall trees in regional Australia, um, <laughs> also forgot to buy spectrum for about a third of the fixed wireless towers. Now, not being, I'm not being too harsh. Um, he just forgot. Um, Mr. President, um, if you don't have spectrum, you cannot transmit a signal. Uh, you literally have no means of connecting your customers to the fixed wireless service. And in Western Australia alone, uh, Labor had begun design and planning on 51 fixed wireless towers servicing 16,700 premises in areas where they had absolutely no capacity to connect customers. Uh, Mr President, it is, uh, I guess, what you would call a shambles. Uh, clearly, uh, the people of Western Australia deserve better. Senator Smith. A final supplementary question, Mr. President. Uh, can the minister inform the Senate what the government is doing to ensure that Western Australians are not neglected as they were under the previous government? The minister. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, nowhere uh, was Labor, Labor's under delivery worse than in Western Australia. Uh, as of the election, there were just 75 premises connected to the Brownfields fibre network in the West—75. Uh, Labor, Labor was not building a national broadband network. As those in the West know all too well, they were building an eastern states broadband network. Uh, since the election, uh, we have slowly been getting the rollout back on track. Uh, we have started uh, construction in areas covering an additional 34,000 premises in Western Australia. Uh, we are also investing $100 million in mobile black spots, uh, and uh, our colleague, the Parliamentary Secretary and member for Bradfield, uh, is doing an excellent job in getting that program underway. Uh, Mr President, West Australians can be assured that this government, uh, unlike those opposite, takes fixing communication black spots seriously. I say again, Western Australia deserves better Order. than those opposite.